I guess it's time to look inside door number two. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This looks like it'll be a bad one. Hey, you said this. There you are. Thank God. Thank God. You're, you're right. I was I so worried. Oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. That thing that almost, thing almost got, me. got me. What the what hell is it? It, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. 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 It's like anger. anger. But more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ain't all of them, All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, <laughs> sadness. I'm here now. No, no, no. It'll lead you too. Just like the others. I won't, I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Here's your ball. Okay. Hey. Why don't, Why don't you tell me something about this place? It's, it's a dating. We used to play here. With, with Richard? Richard? Is he Is one he of your one friends? Of friends? He was smart. Maybe he could help. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he became hollow, like a puppy. He. Oh, I remember Marianne. I don't want to see him. Why not? Why not? What, what do you, what remember? Do you remember? No, no. Don't tell me. It, it's don't okay. Tell me. You don't have, you don't to, have tell to tell me. me. But, but you, you should, should still come, come with me so that I can I keep you safe. No, 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 no. The sadness no, no, never again. Why did Why you, you bring me here? here. It was then that I realized there was something, was something she wanted, she wanted me, to me to see. Something with my own eyes. That only we could do. Alone, I suppose. Those tendrils? It's like uh, varicose veins running around the floor. Well, maybe. After we escape Neva, we could run like a butcher shop. We're getting pretty good at uh, Richard. slicing skin. Are you there? Yeah, that is definitely some kind of vein. Huh. Gather around, children. I want you to meet Lilia. Going to, going to be joining, joining our, our painting, painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lillian, I, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? I spent a few years trying to steer him the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter, and they saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that I would be his chosen field, it would be his chosen field. 
And so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. First time I met him, working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him, but it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that. Despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. So, from what I can gather so far, Richard seems to have uh, monopolized kid for his talent maybe well well at least part of it I wonder if he was doing that with the other children oh don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home what about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close. All right. I'll take care of him. Hung on like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness says? Yeah. Something inside him broke. But we don't know how. Maybe there's a few more pain or er, not paintings. Uh-huh. Locked. Bolt cutters? No. Damn it. Let's have a look so you knew, buddy. Hello. The equator. Looks like a very large pet collar. Oh, I must need to do this in the real world. I'll be back for you. Like, uh,
They look like a fierce, so I think that's probably. Maybe you can show me a way out. Cool. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking. Describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty, rather than madness. The feeling... It's like a big meaty tree. The spark's too weak to absorb. Spreading its it's roots like it's missing something. I like this mess of it. It reminds me of my childhood. At least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there. Aren't they? You're a very, very smart, smart girl, girl. Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. special. Her voice, is that, is that sadness? Ah, so I was right. Lily is sadness. Uh, ha, ha. Teacher's room key. Oh. That let me use the bathroom or the bathtub. I think it was a bathtub. It was some strange box in the other world. I've always been stunned by the depth and cons complexity of his imagination. Mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes of his mind. His mind would read. The way he described them with every minute detail. It was as if he had actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone pulled the veil and light him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel demon, is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me. As his visions came alive on my canvas, some would say I used the boy to fuel my winning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste, that would be an unforgivable sin.
What do we have here, bud? Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought it here. Huh. Wonder what do we make by them. So Thomas and Richard were friends. I thought... So, that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He... Uh... Mr. Rector. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was a friend. He was a friend. I just... I just uh, need a moment. Need a moment. That's not, That's true, not true, Thomas. Thomas. You thought he deserved it. What? Did you do something to him? What happened, Thomas? Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Not that I think of it. Or now that I think of it. I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he used to find true happiness, true love. Strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted, even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. So, Richard... That should be all the pieces of the score. He did hold some form like almost parental love towards this this man however thomas seemed to hold resentment towards him for something perhaps he knew that richard had been using him for his intellect or perhaps something else entirely i don't fully understand. Okay, where next am I to explore? Is there, there is a piano in here. should be able to go through the bugs. Richard, 
My arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of something. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard? I'm getting a weird vibe from it. There's yeah. Sorrow and something else, I guess. Yeah, I think it's best if we don't go fully into detail about what that something else is. He's given off kind of a creepy vibe there. Oh. Find all pages. Okay. I was finished. They let me go. Me, Richard Tarkovsky. His works were recognized across the continent. His imagination, as I said, knew no binds. His very name became synonymous with fine art. All of that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrats. To them, I was just a liability. A source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I needed to get out, away from the hollow sickness of the city. But most of all, I needed a friend, and so I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier at the time. I thought it best not to interfere with his grieving, and so now I feared that he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most. Instead, he offered me a home. So a void grew between these two at some point. Probably to do with, or around the time Thomas's wife passed away. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, here. I bought, I bought it especially, it especially for, you. for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank, Thank you, Uncle Richard. Yeah, yeah, let, let me... me. Uh, on, the on the other hand, hand why don't why you don't do you it do yourself? yourself? Uh, what was that? It's like something, like something stirred inside it. Oh, this is going to be uncomfortable, isn't it? I really don't want to see the emotions of this. I have a theory myself of what might have happened. And I'm really oh, hoping I'm wrong. I didn't mean to. Oh, God. What have I done? It feels cold. What have you done? Richard, did you harm Lily? Oh, the uh, wheelchair just... Is this you, Richard, in the wheelchair? I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. I wanted to show me something. <gasps> oh no. That name alone does not speak well. Oh? God oh, fucking damn it! Damn it. I 
I fail. Us. Oh. So this is Thomas. It's all falling apart. What? What? Hmm? Yes, yes, I know. I know. No, no, I need to, I be, need sure. to be sure. There's, There's gotta, gotta be something, be something around, around here. here. You want, you want what? what? Fuck! Fuck. decided to let me out of my cage and only when you need my help surprise surprise you know what I'm not not just tell me what you see come on come on come on yes I can feel it it's around here somewhere oh oh it's real, real fucking, fucking specific. specific. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm trying, trying to help, to help here. here. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes I, wonder. I wonder. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't make, make it easier when you keep me in the dark, dark for so long. Oh, thanks, thanks for that, that by the way. way. <laughs> Hell of a Hell way, way to treat, treat your soulmate. Soul mate. God, God damn, it. damn it! There's, There's nothing, nothing here. here. There is. There is. Really? really? I'm never, I'm never wrong, wrong about, about these things. things. Oh, you know that. Yeah, screw, screw this. this. I should have known better than to listen to you. you. Wait, wait. What? There. 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 Where? Where? What? 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 You building tension? Grab, grab the grab fucking the thing! Would you shut up? Shut up. He's obsessed. He's obsessed. What is it? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I met him into my home. He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? Fucking bastard. bastard! Who could he? Could he? I, told I told you we couldn't, we couldn't trust, trust anyone, anyone but, but ourselves. ourselves. Keep, Keep it together. together. Think. Think. What do we do, do now? now? We wait. wait. And when he comes back... Oh, no, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, whoa. easy time. time. Remember what's at stake. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. What the hell did he find? So 
Thomas. Thomas. I uh, wasn't, wasn't expecting, expecting you. you. Is, uh, Is uh, everything, everything all right, all right my, friend? my friend? Did you, Did do, you it? do it, friend? friend. Did, I? Did I? What? what? My daughter. My, daughter. my, my thirteen-year-old year old daughter. daughter. Oh, no. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Thomas. Did, Did you, you do, do it? it? I, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I found this case. <laughs> I forced, forced myself, myself to look through it. it. Cover, cover to cover. cover. Every, Every single, single fucking, fucking page! page. <laughs> Tell me you didn't hurt me, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm the Richard. Tell me, Tell me, Tell me and I'll, I'll let, let you go. go. I, it wasn't, it wasn't me. me. Thomas, Thomas, you have you to have understand. To understand. There's a There's sting a inside, inside of me. Of me. Shut, Shut up. up. Ah! Oh. 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 <laughs> you have to believe me. I wanted, I wanted to, die. to die. I'll make it I'll quick. Make it quick. Thomas. I'm so, so sorry. sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I should never, never have come, come here. here. But you did. No intrusion. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I swear. I go away. You'll never. Wait. But you. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. just experienced a hell of a lot of stuff there. I'm gonna leave this episode here and take a few minutes to process all of this and then we'll be back with the next episode. <laughs>